You folks want some pancakes? So here's an example of another, uh, another custom uh, design t-shirt website. As you can see, it doesn't look uh, very professional. You have to go through a strange tree system to get everywhere. Uh, you have to go through all, all these long lists, you know, you don't know where you're going. And eventually you, eventually you come to the site, and you're faced with a big set of pictures, and you know, you don't know what to do, so you think, oh, I'll click on this picture here, and it'll feel, uh, get me a t-shirt. But no, that's just an image. So we can scroll down to the bottom of the page, and we find out there's a minuscule link you can't really see it, which uh, shows you how to order a t-shirt, um, but it's not really online at all. In fact, um, you have to download an order form, you have to print the order form, you have to write on it, you have to package it up, you have to pay for the postage, you have to pay for the envelope, you have to pay for everything, and then eventually you traipse all the way up to wherever your nearest post box is, in our case it was 20 minutes away, and uh, then we posted it off, you know, uh, however long it takes to post a letter, you know, nowadays. And, uh, and then you hope you get your t-shirt. And this is obviously not an ideal situation. And this one example has already identified three major problems with the t-shirt industry as a whole. Problem number one is it often takes too long. This particular example took Eric 20 minutes to buy the order for, another three weeks to actually get his t-shirt. Another problem is it's too expensive. This particular example costs us 18 pounds, which for casual purchase is way too high. And then the final problem is there are quality issues right across the industry, and uh, I think these really speak for themselves. So it was from these frustrations that Total T-shirts was born. So we came with our business plan. We had four steps. We wanted to raise some capital at the beginning. We wanted to find a supplier. We wanted to make a website, and we ultimately wanted to sell some T-shirts. So raising capital, we did that by selling shares. We sold screen printed t shirts, we sold bouncy balls, and we sold 2007 calendars. So, once we raised the capital, the next step was to find a supplier. Now, we evaluated the suppliers on two main criteria, which were good quality and good price. What we largely ignored was this ease of use factor how easy it was for the customer to order from the supplier, because that is why two of the t shirts would come in. By creating an easy to use website, we would create a bridge between consumer and supplier. So, this website, we started off, we decided text is a good idea. We decided it would be useful for people to, uh, to put text on a t-shirt. It's very popular. As you can see, here is someone uh, making it on our website. As you can see, uh, once, it's, once, it, once it's been done, it should, uh, it should look um, pretty accurate to what we've got right here. This is the exact one that we made. And there you go. So, photos. We also thought photos would be useful. A lot of people have uh, lots of pictures on their hard drives nowadays. You can scan your hard drive, upload a picture, and then again, instantly, it's, it's, there's, a, there's a live preview of what you're going to get on your t-shirt. You don't have to wait weeks to find out what it looks like. And then, of course, you can select your color and then proceed and uh, pay for it. And then people are going to want something absolutely specific. So we decided to implement a custom tag to the website. So what you can do on the custom tab is you can specify exactly what you want. You can have all sorts of designs, you can have it on the front or the back or whatever, and uh, you can even have it on something other than a t-shirt if you want. So then the final step was going out there and selling the t-shirts. Now, we targeted two main demographics for selling the t-shirts to. Demographic one was the casual consumer. Um, we targeted them through running local events, and running online marketing campaigns, and through running sales promotions. But we also wanted to focus on the corporate market. Um, now we got to the, uh, these companies by looking at business directories, and we sold it to them very much as branded promotional, promotional material. Now we were very successful in both markets. We sold a total of 65 t-shirts for a net profit of £391.27, which we're obviously fantastically pleased about. So, did this idea work? Well, we're pretty sure it did, and from our original uh, £80 investment, we got a 458% return. But 
while this is a runaway financial success, we also wanted to ask ourselves the questions, did we make customizing t-shirts easier for the customer? And we hope in this presentation that we have through that. Okay, well, thank you for listening from the entire Total T-Shirts team. Uh, we'd also like to thank our excellent link teachers, Ms. Downing and Ms. Thomas. Uh, we'd also like to thank our business advisors, Steve Brinkwood and Steve Lang, and then, of course, Young Enterprise for giving this opportunity and experience. Well, we'd like to remind everyone that the website, total-t-shirts.com, is live, and we'd appreciate it if you wanted to visit that at any time. We are still taking orders. Um, it's been a pleasure to talk to you this afternoon. Thank you.